Hey, it's the end of Cybersecurity Awareness Month, Week 3, Explore. Are you looking to get an IT? Do you know somebody that is? Do you have a child that's looking to get an IT or cybersecurity? Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Chris Burns from Techie Gurus, and welcome back. It's the end of week three of Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Explore. Are you looking to change your career? Are you looking to get into IT or cybersecurity? Do you know somebody else that is? I made this video for you because I want you to understand the pros and cons of the industry and whether it's something that fits you. And I have a pro and a con that are exactly the same, so I'm just going to take those off the board right now. And it's learning never stops. If you don't like to learn, stop right now, find a different career. The amount of change that happens in, in technology is incredible. It's rapidly accelerating. And if you can't handle that, if you don't like to learn new things all the time, then just stop. Um, I love to learn, personally. Um, it's something I look for in everybody. You have to love to learn to move forward in IT and be successful in IT and cybersecurity. So that's the number one pro and con. Now let's cover just pros. So for the most part, number one, there's gonna be some good salaries. Now, it depends on where you are in the country, but for the most part, you're going to get offered a pretty good salary, especially compared to other industries. Number two, the jobs are everywhere. Whether it's cybersecurity or just IT in general, there are jobs everywhere in the nation, everywhere in the world. So wherever you want to live, wherever you want to work, there's probably a good chance there's going to be a job. And with, with that, we go to number three, it's you're, you're in demand. Employment's, unemployment's actually really low in IT and cybersecurity. In cybersecurity specifically, it's less than 1% in most places, and actually 0% in some places. It's, it'd be negative percent if it could be because they can't find enough people. So you're, you're going to be in demand. So if you're really good at what you do, or even if you're not really good at what you do, you still be in demand. It just depends on how long that'll work out. Um, number four is you have the ability to advance. Because the, the technology changes, because the industry changes so much, if you get into IT and you don't like a specific niche of IT, you can find a different one. You just got to learn a different skill set. And if you get a good base, you're going to be able to advance into other ones. So that's one of the most exciting things about IT. Uh, number five is you have opportunities to be self-employed. If you want to be a contractor, if you want to be a 1099 employee, if you want to be a um, work-on-demand type of person, you can absolutely do that in IT, cybersecurity. Absolutely. You can make pretty good money like that. Uh, it might be a little stressful finding work, but for the most part, it's not that bad finding work, especially if you find companies you can work for and do projects for. And number six, and I've already said this, but learning never stops. So you have to love to learn. I'm going to reiterate that. Learning is something that needs to be ingrained in you. So now let's cover some of the dark sides of IT. Let's go with the cons. You're going to be on call and there are some demanding hours. Now, what I don't like about the industry, especially when I got into it, was the amount of exploitation that happens in IT. You'll get paid for 40 hours. They will try to make you an exempt employee and they will try to tell you you have to work 80 to 100 hours. Now, some people will work 60, some people work 50, but there will be times when you are going to work an insane amount of hours. You will be tired and a lot of it comes with the territory. You know, maybe you had an outage, maybe there was an attack and you have to work to get through it. That's a big downside. That's a big con. So if you value having a predictable schedule, then just stop now. If it's something that doesn't matter to you and you find the right um, employer or if you want to own a company as well, you can structure that around that. Like, I don't believe in that. I don't believe that we should be stressing people out to a point where we cause burnout. And we'll get to that in a minute. But like, that's a big problem. So number two is there, could, there are going to be tasks that are repetitive and just absolutely boring. Documentation sucks. It does. We need it. It's absolutely essential to what we do, but it sucks. Um... Certain tasks are just going to be repetitive. You're going to do the same thing every day in some things, but then in other things, you won't have that. But a con will be there will be times that things are just completely boring. And it's just something you gotta you got to get used to. I mean, it's like it happens at every job. There's less of that, in I think, in IT and cybersecurity. It depends on what where you go with it. But, like, the, that's still a reality. Number three is stress. And this kind of goes back to what number one was. You're going to, if, if you have an outage, if, so, if a server goes down in the middle of the day, or if you have an attack, a cyber attack on your company, the amount of stress that you're going to experience is tremendous. So you have to be able to handle stress. You have to be able to handle stressful situations. If you get anxious really easy 
it may not be the career path for you. There's other parts of IT maybe that you could go into, but like from like a cybersecurity perspective, it's going to get stressful. And that's something you just have to deal with. Now, what, what isn't good is if somebody exploits you to the point of that, you know, you get burnout. And that's a big problem in IT. I don't have as a number on this, but burnout's a big problem. I've met plenty of people that are only in their 40s and they're burned out already. They've been in IT for, for 15, 20 years, and the amount of hours they had to put in just burned them out. And they have no passion left. This is what I fight against with, with my team. I want them to live a life and maintain a life, understanding that sometimes we do have to work odd hours and stuff like that. But I try to, we try to schedule that as much as we can. Obviously, you can't schedule everything. Things are going to happen. But it's something that's important to me. And I want to make sure that the people that work with me, work for me, have a good life. Uh, number five, lack of resources. Uh, actually, it's number four, sorry. Lack of resources. It's, uh, it's tough. Companies will say they don't have money. Um, they may pay too much in salaries and then they don't have enough money to actually implement the things they need to implement. Or they're just not putting forth those resources towards what they need. So it's a constant battle. Um, it's a constant battle for us selling IT and cybersecurity services to small businesses who think they don't need it. But when they, but they're not taking an objective approach to looking at the risks in their business and determining that. So. It's an uphill battle. You're going to sit in a lot of budget meetings. You're probably going to, or at least with a manager, trying to figure out what budgets are. And it's it's a pain. Um, even if somebody needs it, they may not put forth the resources, or they may not have the resources. It really depends. So, But that's a downside. And uh, number five is, uh, I'll go back again, learning never stops. There's constant change. Again, if it's not something that you can deal with or it's not something that excites you, then this is not the career for you. So now what I want to do is bring a little levity to this and actually share what my team said. Um, I asked them three questions. Uh, why did you get in IT? Uh, what do you like about IT? And what do you dislike about IT? So I talked about why I got in IT uh, in the last video, and I'll, I'll do a little refresher. I first discovered computers when I was 11 years old. Um, I feel old saying that, but that's what it is. Uh, and I just ran with it. It was something that excited me. From day one, it made sense to me. And yes, I got a business degree, but... You know, I've obviously done IT for a long time. Now what I'd probably answer is, what do I like about being a business owner? I like helping people. I like looking at a company and helping protect that company, helping that company manage their risk so that they know that their business is as safe as it can possibly be. Now, nothing's ever 100%, but they employ families. They employ people that work, that have families. We want to help and I want to help protect those families. Keep those people employed. Keep those people's families moving forward. If a business gets destroyed by a cyber attack or by something done in bad IT, it's, it's catastrophic not only to the company but to the families that are involved. Um, that's what I like about it today. What don't I like about it? it there's a big pushback. Um, people see cyber attacks on the news and they see the stuff, but they hear from their friends as well, but they think it's never going to happen to them. Uh it's the same mentality when you get in a car. You don't get a car thinking you're going to get in an accident, but you should be preparing for it. You should probably put your seatbelt on. Your car should have airbags. That's the mentality we have to have. We have to prepare for things. Even if they may not happen, there's a chance it could happen. And the, 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 the risk of it, the downside, far exceeds the upside of not doing anything. So that's what I don't like about it. So let's now let's just get into my team. Uh, so I got into IT because uh, I found out that I could get paid to commit crimes uh, with permission. I thought that was pretty cool. I got into IT because I was told I was talented with technology. Thought it would be a good idea to get into that as my career. I got into IT because uh, I had a passion for gaming as I was growing up and uh, computers kind of paved the way to better and fancier games. Um, eventually it led to where I'm at today, uh, working for Techie Gurus. Every day is different. It's always something new to learn, and everything's constantly evolving. I like helping people. I like the uh, the moment where a user or um, a tech uh, has that epiphany where they go, oh man, that's how that works, or when they understand something new. Uh, one of the things that I love about IT is, uh, well, I like solving problems, uh, mostly problems that people have, uh, and then making their day just a little bit better.
One of the things that I absolutely despise about IT is printers. Uh, if you ever used a printer, you, you know why, you know why. Two things I don't like about IT, printers and cable management. Maybe it's something I have to practice a little bit more with, but cable management is my least fond. Sometimes it's a bit dry. Uh, you know, the operations manuals and the, the code and all the processes and procedures that need to be repeated. Um, gets a little bit dry sometimes, but every day is new, so that adds some variance and something to look forward to. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that little snippet with my team. Uh, this is my local team uh, here in Metro Detroit. We have some remote people as well. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to get them on video because, you know, they, they don't cycle through the office. And uh, we have also a service desk and whatnot and uh, a SOC team, but I can't cover everybody. That's my local team for uh, doing on-site stuff. So hope you, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this was a very helpful video for you. And until next time, stay cyber safe.